is with heavy hearts that we say goodbye tonight to a gladiator that has not only become a friend to us, but who has also become a hero to all in the Antiverse. Apollo, why am I crying? We'll miss you so much. We wish you well frolicking the open fields of coconut trees in your natural habitat. And indeed, we will miss our little lightning Apollo. We watched him grow from just a little larva. And even as the littlest of the bunch, he still proved to us that he had the biggest spirit and heart. And with one now gone, there are six left to proceed to the next round. And the competition is guaranteed to get more and more intense. And so continues the great Rhino Beetle Games. I'll see you all there next week. Enjoy. Good evening, Antiverse! The time is 8 p.m. and you're tuned in to Rocksteady FM. And let me tell you, the entire ant room is hyped for this second elimination round for the Rhino Beetle Games 2019. That's right, VW. Keep it locked to this station as we bring you all the best RBG coverage. Everyone is raving about these Olympic-style Rhino Beetle Games. I can just feel the immense anticipation buzzing in the air. Same here, Lady B. And I'm sure all the AC family at home can feel it too. And here stand our proud champions now, the Rhino Beetle Gladiators, whose natural capabilities will continue to wow us in these games. To our left stand our three females, Athena, Artemis, and Aphrodite. And the two columns on the right stand our remaining gladiators, Zeus, Hades, Dionysus, Hephaestus, Ares, and Poseidon. Last week's RPG event, the Rhino Dive, saw gladiator Poseidon take the Pyramid of Hera. As the champion, he was able to enjoy a full week of extra bioactive soils in his Sudan suite. But what will the winner of the Pyramid of Hera for this week's challenge win? Stay tuned for that coming right up in just a second. Oh, I can't wait to find out. All rise for the Rhino Beetle National Anthem. In the name of the great Rhino Sudan, with strongest of horns proudly we stand to compete with heart in this antiversal land. We pledge our allegiance to the AC fan who spared our lives when we were young lads. Just beautiful. That Rhino Beetle translation was brought to you by AntsCanada.com, the world's leading provider of museum quality ant farms shipped worldwide. All right, now before we proceed to explain this week's Rhino Beetle game elimination challenge, we just would like to remind everyone that these games are cruelty free and are specifically designed to highlight the Beetle's natural abilities of strength, agility, speed, and more as they would be expressed in the wild while ensuring our gladiators are not placed in danger nor in an overly stressful situation. Now, as you may or may not recall, the ultimate winner of the entire 2019 Rhino Beetle Games shall inherit a beetle paradise, complete with space, food, guaranteed protection from predators in the security of our ant room, and of course, the female rhino beetles to breed with. For a full explanation of the games, feel free to watch last week's video here. AC family, the time has come. Let's have a look at this week's epic Rhino Beetle Games event, known as the strength test. You guys will love this one. Before us sits the field and venue for which our gladiators will be participating in an ultimate display of innate strength. In the wild, possessing great strength is a must for a male rhino beetle if he is to succeed at staying alive and coming out on top to ensure the passing of his genes to breed. Strength helps a rhino beetle defend itself, seek shelter from predators, and win in male joust matches for food, territory, and breeding rights. Fixated on a platform is a great tower of three large boulder bricks, which in total weighs four times the weight of one average male rhino beetle. The tower of boulders is attached via a bungee cord and rope and arranged pulley style up this great wooden log. <laughs> Looks like someone forgot to put out the ghost ant traps on the field last night. <laughs> <laughs> right? And all the way to another bungee cord attachment with a stretchy harness, which will be comfortably fastened around our gladiators. 
This elastic harness ensures the beetle's utmost comfort while competing. Each beetle will be placed onto the log and will naturally climb against the pull of the bungee cord. They will proceed up the stick to the top of the log and in doing so, hopefully be strong enough to pull on the rope and topple the tower of boulders. Each beetle will be timed and the gladiator who can topple the tower off this platform the fastest will win the Pyramid of Hera this week. And Lady B, the stakes are extremely high. Mm -hmm. Because the ultimate prize for this week's RPG event is... Complete immunity from the Rhino Beetle Games elimination for the next round. The top winner of the Strength Test Challenge will win the opportunity to recharge in strength for two whole weeks as he sits out of the competition for next week's challenge. That's right, Lady B. The winner of the Pyramid of Hera will automatically be safe in next week's challenge and can watch his fellow gladiators compete from the sidelines, resting to recharge in strength as he automatically advances to the next Rhino Beetle Games Challenge the following week. Oh, what an amazing prize that is! But VW, what about the gladiator or gladiators that lose? Great question, Lady B. Any gladiator who is unable to topple the Tower of Boulders under one minute or who slips off the log loses the challenge and proceeds to the Great Elimination Round to fight for their spot in the Rhino Beetle Games and the Antibers. If none of the beetles fall off the log and are able to pull the tower off the platform by one minute, then by default, the bottom gladiator with the worst time shall be the losing gladiator this week and the one to leave us and the games tonight. Ooh, I'm nervous to see which gladiator will be leaving us. This strength test challenge is going to be a nail biter to watch. Good luck to all the gladiators. Inhabitants of the Antiverse, Cheer on your chosen gladiators in the comments now! Who will win the strength test and gain Rhino Beetle game immunity? Let the Rhino Beetle games begin! First up is Poseidon! Team Poseidon, cheer on your gladiator! Go! Poseidon begins to tug forward, pulling at the bungee cord. Oh, and at just under five seconds, he moves the tower. Oh, come on. Poseidon, pull. Don't fall off. Ah, oh. toppled at 18.31 seconds. Great job, Team Poseidon. Well done. Next up, Hephaestus. Team Hephaestus, cheer on your gladiator. Go. And Hephaestus proceeds forward and oh. What? What a time. 2.16 seconds. Oh my Sudan, that was so fast. Hephaestus fans going wild now as I'm sure the creator of worlds is as their champion takes the spot from Poseidon at winning the Pyramid of Hera. Great job, Team Hephaestus. Next up is Dionysus. Team Dionysus, cheer on your gladiator. Go! Dionysus plows forward, dragging. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh. The tower! Oh, oh, Toppled at 5.34 seconds. Great job, Team Dionysus. This places Dionysus in second place under Hephaestus and ahead of Poseidon. Harnessed up now is Hades. Go, Hades, baby! Team Hades, cheer on your gladiator. Go! Go! Hades, no! No! no. Fallen off and into the softened moss net below. Oh no, Hades! Team Hades, your gladiator, having fallen off the log, shall proceed to the final elimination round. And if he's the only one in the elimination round, he will by default be the one to leave the games tonight and the Antiverse. Oh, I just can't! Next up is Ares! Team Ares, cheer on your gladiator! Go! Gladiator Ares immediately moves the tower. Oh! As he proceeds up the log, oh! Down goes the tower at 7.52 seconds. Team Ares, this places your gladiator in third place under Hephaestus and Dionysus. Awesome, Team Ares. And last but not least, yes, my personal champion, Zeus. Team Zeus, cheer on our gladiator! Go! Zeus steadily proceeds upwards along the log. It looks like he's taking his time. He's pulling. Come on, Zeus. Could the tower be causing him trouble? 
Oh! oh! Zeus is down in the moss net, which means he's headed into the final elimination round with Hades to fight for his spot in the Rhino Beetle games and the Antiverse. Wow! The Antiverse is going wild at the results. I think I hear a few boos out there. I know. Actually, Lady B, both our picks are proceeding to final eliminations. I am just speechless right now. Same, VW. I can't believe that between Gladiator Zeus or Hades, one of them shall be leaving us and the games tonight. Stick around, AC family, to watch their ultimate showdown elimination round coming in a moment. But as for the top three winners of the strength test, we issue a massive congratulations to Team Ares in third, Team Dionysus in second, and the winner of the Pyramid of Hera this week, Team Hephaestus! Oh, congratulations, Team Hephaestus! Your Gladiator performed well today. As the winner of the Pyramid of Hera this week, Gladiator Hephaestus gains immunity for the next round of the games. It sets out next week to recharge in strength as he automatically proceeds to the following Rhino Beetle Challenge. It seems like since Apollo's elimination last week, a lot of Team Apollo converted to Team Hephaestus this week. Great to know his fan support has grown. That's right. And well, Lady B, it looks like one of us as well will have to re-choose teams as our personal picks are in the bottom two. Zeus and Hades stand side by side, preparing for the ultimate final elimination round, which will see one of these gladiators safe this week and the other on exit from the games and the antiverse. And what a duel this will be. Inarguably two of the biggest rivals in the competition going head to head. This Zeus Hades face off is bound to be epic. AC family, below our bottom two gladiators sits the venue for the final eliminations. This battle round will be a face off of ultimate rhino beetle strength, where our two mighty beetles will be able to display just how powerful their muscles, bodies, and minds are in an elimination round which we all know as the ancient game of Tug of War. That's right! Both gladiators will be fastened to both ends of these bungee cords, facing outward. They will each pull against the other, heading towards opposite ends of the log. And the gladiator who reaches the other side first, wins. But there is a catch. That's right, Lady B. If any of the rhino beetles at any time lose their grip and fall off the log, they automatically lose the challenge, and the remaining gladiator still on the log becomes the winning beetle. The beetles must remain on the log at all times throughout this tug of war match. Team Zeus and Team Hades, good luck, and may the best rhino beetle win. Inhabitants of the Antiverse, Gladiator Zeus and Hades shall engage in a great duel of tug of war to fight for the right to remain in the games and ultimately an inhabitant of the Antiverse. Team Zeus and Team Hades, cheer on your gladiators in the comments. Gladiators pull with all your might. One, two, Go Zeus. three. You can do it, Hades. Hades decides to hold his ground, not moving from his spot, while Zeus begins to plow forward. Oh, don't let go, Hades. It looks like he's waiting for Zeus to tire. Great strategy. Approaching the end of the log, he's pulling his hardest to move forward. Look at him pulling forth for us, Team Zeus. Oh, Zeus is getting so close to the end. Hades is not moving an inch and is holding his ground. Come on, Team Hades, let's cheer on our gladiator. I think we're coming to the end of this tug and war match now. Who will it be, AC family? Zeus or Hades? Oh, my Sudan! Pull! Who will be leaving the Antiverse tonight? It's the ultimate battle of the gladiators. Team Zeus and Team Hades, cheer on your gladiators in the comments. This is it. Oh! Yes! Hades Zeus let go and fell.
fell off the log, automatically earning him the loss in this tug-of-war match. Oh, Team Zeus, our Gladiator is leaving the games and the ad room this week. And it makes Gladiator Hades safe for another week and still in the running to compete in the Rhino Beetle games. What a crazy match. Zeus burrowed his way into the cocoa beet substrate of his Sudan suite as the most royal and stately of the rhino beetles, who was humble enough to take a bow for us when we first met him last week. Gladiator Zeus humbly bows out of the rhino beetle games this week and will now be released back into the wild from where he was collected. Oh, how I will miss Zeus. He was such a sweetheart and eliminated much too early. This leaves us now with our three females and five remaining gladiators in these Rhino Beetle games. We wish you all a good night. This is DJ VW and DJ Lady B. We'll see you all next week for the next round of eliminations. Thank you for watching, and it's Ant and Beetle Love forever. Alright guys, so it seems Gladiator Zeus is heading home this week. For those of you who are Team Zeus, do feel free to keep playing in these games and choose a new Gladiator to champion. But sadly, you won't qualify for a prize. But hey, it's all for fun anyway, right? Were you happy with the results? Guys, be sure to tune in next week to catch the third round of the Rhino Beetle games. And watch your Gladiators duke it out for the top spot and prize. For all of you whose gladiators are still in the games, congratulations to your champions. Be sure to leave your comments for them to cheer them on as they do read their fan mail. And remember to use their official team hashtags. Good luck to the remaining five on their future rounds to come. So guys, be sure to smash that subscribe button and bell icon now so you get notified at every single upload and stay with us for these 2019 Rhino Beetle games. And hit the like button every single time, including now. Trust me guys, you will want to be part of this super fun and educational experience. If you're new to the channel and want to catch up on all your Ants Canada lore, feel free to binge watch this complete storyline playlist here, which traces the origins of all the ant colonies of the ant room, so you can follow their stories and better appreciate how these ant kingdoms came to be and why we love them so much. AC Inner Colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here for a news flash update on the progress of the Golden Empire in their ongoing recovery from blood-sucking mites. Check out how they've been doing over the past couple of weeks since their mite plague outbreak. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week we asked, how might keeping still help a rhino beetle survive in the wild? Congratulations to Ryujin III, who correctly answered, Keeping still can help them survive because some animals focus on movement and if you've ever had invisibility in a PvP game, you'd know that moving can ruin your camouflage. Congratulations Ryujin III, you just won a free ebook handbook from our shop. In this week's AC Question of the Week, we ask, how might having great strength help a male rhino beetle succeed in the wild? Leave your answer in the comment section and you could also win a free ebook handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love Forever. <laughs>